Here I have a Sony CFS904 tape stereo radio. And the problem with this unit is that it would only operate with the 9 volt batteries, which are actually 6 C type 1.5 alkaline batteries. And they wouldn't operate when plugged into an electrical outlet with the uh, AC adapter. So I opened this up and did some troubleshooting. So with the power plugged in, I'm testing the, uh, the DC jack to see if there's power. And red goes on the positive here and the black goes on the negative. The jack is good. There is power. And on the um, PCB trace, you can see the next one um, is here, which uh, initially I didn't know what it was, but later I found out. Next to the power jack, you see a black transistor device, and next to it is a diode. And the transistor lookalike device is actually a fuse, as I found out later. On the flip side of the circuit, I am testing the diode, and there is no voltage. Since there is no voltage at the diode and beyond, I thought it could have been caused by the diode or the part before it. And looking up from the service manual, I realized that the part before the diode is a fuse. It's called an ICP, IC protector, ICP38. And um, it's a fast blow fuse which is used to protect semiconductors. And uh, I'm checking it with the multimeter for continuity. And as you can see, there is no continuity. Unlike, see? There is no continuity with this fuse. That means the fuse is blown and it has to be replaced with a fuse that has a similar current rating and preferably also another fast blow fuse. And if you look at the shape, it looks very similar to other transistors on this particular board. So I haven't actually seen a fuse like this before and it was my first time. I couldn't find a replacement ICP F38. So here you can see this is the uh, newly replaced fuse and it's actually 250V 1.6 amp. The higher voltage from what I read should not matter. It's important you have one that has a similar current cutoff which is about 1.5 amp. You need to check the diode to see if there's a voltage across the diode and uh, there is 10.78 volt and the circuit is working whereas before when the fuse was blown there was zero volt on the diode so that's how you know if you need to replace the fuse and um, of course you can always re remove the fuse and check for continuity so here you can see the light is on and let's try the tape loading mechanism see if it will play and I'm pretty sure that it will move so look that's a good sign the tape is moving or I should say the, the mechanism for the tape player is moving and there you go it was a simple repair and uh, all you need is a fuse.